I have created a brand new Pokemon TCG Live account to see if I can go from the very bottom in Quick League with Togepi at rank 0 all the way up to rank Arceus with 266 rank points. It's gonna be one hell of a journey! And we're only going to be doing it by using the resources provided by Pokemon TCG Live. So we don't buy any codes, we can't receive any gifts of any sort, it's purely based on what we've been given. To see if the free-to-play experience can be really used up until the point where you actually get to the top. This is Road to Arceus. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel, PDCGO Store, where you can buy codes with 5% off using a discount code FTW. It's a way to support the channel whilst getting something in return, so why not? Now, with that said, let's get going. Oh, baby, we have a series on the channel now. Ooh, what's going on? Well, that's it. We are going to be looking at some of the decks that we have here. So if you were to look into PDCG Live, you do get all of these decks for free right now. That are, excuse me, don't freeze on me. The, now the game's freeze. Okay, there we go. These are the decks you do get. So what we're going to do is pick a deck that we kind of want to stick to for the time being. That uh, that would be fun to play. That we think will give us the most wins um, on the ladder to get us to a point where maybe we can start upgrading over time. Uh, I don't know. How, I don't remember how I got these 2,200 coins, but I don't know if that was through the uh, intro or not. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Is what it is. Either way, we have 2,200 credits, 520 um, uh, crystals. As you can see, the battle pass is we haven't touched it at all right so the crystal is going to be very good allowing us to get the premium battle pass which is 600 so we want to get to that point so these daily quests are going to be quite useful for us and the rewards because of course that allows us to get the extra rewards down here to find other to get other cards that are going to be useful and build some other decks maybe and get some upgrades it'd be nice to see and figure out what we want to do here what we want to work towards all that kind of jazz during this process that's uh what we're kind of working on right now we just want to play something start developing some credits and stuff like that and start working towards getting to a point where we can start upgrading maybe even building new decks hopefully in the future let's just see how everything actually works that's the idea so right so we need to decide a deck that we want to play with i'm kind of leaning towards tina v star because this seems the most meta ish right it's obviously comfy sableye tina snorlax cramorant uh, you know nothing too crazy all things considered interestingly a gardenia's viga in here which is weird uh thornton again an interesting one uh, not really seeing too much play but it seems like the best of the worst you've got arcanine in here we might switch between it in episodes. I'm not sure yet. Um, Arcanine. Um, we also have Coridon uh, with the Great Tusk and stuff like that we could choose. We have Lunarox, which isn't a terrible shout. Uh, for the early runs, we have Maridon, the Mareep version. That actually has like Reggie Delecki's and stuff like that, which is... Um, I like this one quite a bit. Um, I also like the Palkia. Uh, Palkia is looking quite fun. And their Superior and the Reggie Alecki VMAX, which funnily enough doesn't have Maridon. Either way, these are the decks, and I kind of want to start. Do we kind of just warm up? Maybe I start off with... Oh, we've got to take it seriously, though. Is it time that I start learning the Lost Box? I think so. If I'm, if I'm talking just raw win rate, this has to be the one, right? So I think we're going to start off with Tina V-Star and just get into some games. Let's see how we do. Here we are, the first game of this challenge. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a journey, I'm telling you for sure. Uh, very interesting to see how things work. I'm going to try my best to really focus and do well in these videos. Um, I know in my, my rogue deck videos and stuff like that, it's more just for laughs and stuff like that. Here, we're really going to try. So we're playing the Lunar Rocks. Don't know how that's going to work out, but here we are. Right, so this could be difficult because I'm playing Lost Box, but it's a great opportunity for me to learn how this deck works as much as possible, I think. Um, I have a feeling this vacuum is going to be quite important. Uh, Thornton's quite cool, but I think we we'll leave that for now. And maybe just do this, I think. Get comfies. See what's going on. Uh, what about our recovery? Do we have energy? We don't have energy recovery. Okay. And if I'm correct, we don't have Greninja. So this isn't going to function like a typical Lost Box. This is the free version that you get. So maybe I should be a bit more wary about discarding energy. Because I'm discarding energy like I have recyclers and stuff. and uh, Which is typical for this kind of stuff. Um... <laughs> And then he goes and throws one in the Lost Zone anyway. <laughs> right, turn one. Poor. Very poor. But this is not a good Lost Box, right? Obviously, you don't have VIP pass and stuff. At least I think. I don't know. So it's going to start off pretty slow, all things considered. Also, hold on. My nose is getting funny. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> Friends in Sinnoh. Uh, okay. This is going to be its own kind of format. This is the funny thing, right? It's, uh, it's the starter deck format, effectively. Where I'm assuming in the very early start parts, we get to play against these kinds of decks. And, you know, my brother, for example, who plays PDCG Live every now and then, started in this kind of area and then realizes he got to, like, uh, I think it was Greninja or Pokeball. 
it was like, he started coming up against the meta decks and just kept losing. So I was like, oh God. So we want to make sure that as we get, and when we get to that point, we just save, right? And just try and save up as much as we can, credits wise and stuff. Try and get into a position where we can start upgrading. Uh, we have to decide what deck we want to upgrade as well. I'm assuming a lot of this is going to be committing to a certain archetype until we can branch out further, right? That's what I think it is. It's like we've got to pick a deck and then improve it as much as we can. And it seems like Lost Box is the best one because it's the best deck, but I, the, you know, I'm not that great at playing Lost Box, which means is it really the best one to go for? You know, I should really start using Tina, right? I should start getting Tina ready. Uh, if I can Lost Box and get like a Switch or something, I think we can play a Switch. Oh, that's rough, bro. That is rough. Oh no, I, I need exact. That's exactly what I need, man. Okay, I've got to do something here though, right? Because I've got to, I've got to start using Abyss Seeking, haven't I? That's what I've got. To, uh, oh, I don't know. We have alternative attack, and it's fine. We, we we can go with Antina today. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Let's uh, let's Abyss Seeking. I think that's what we have to do, just to get ourselves ahead of that curve as quickly as possible. Um. Okay. You and do we get the cram or do we lost the cram? Hmm. We'll do this. We'll do this. I think we're going to Abyss Seeking for maybe a couple of turns here anyway. That's four. We can manually retreat and start swinging with Cram, or we can keep Abyss Seeking. Oh, I don't know now. We're going to have some pressure, depending on how things go here. I don't know if this actually is the Mewtwo loss, uh, the Mewtwo Lunatone one that we saw. No, it's not. Okay, so there's Bennett. Ah, oh, they're gonna lock off my item cart for sh Okay. I'm just scared about having no energy recovery, bro. I might have to... I might have to just manually build towards a shred here. Oh, maybe I should have kept the Tina. Oh! Oh, it's so difficult, isn't it, when you really think about it? I'm playing... Look, I kind of have to retrain myself to go out of that, you know... We're playing a meta lost box too. We're playing the free version. I have to retrain myself a little bit because I'm playing as if I have these resources that I don't have. It's 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 throwing a bit of a spanner in the works. I can just attach my retreat, or I can go for another abyss seeking. I think I attach here and I just go for another abyss seeking, bro. I need to draw cards, right? Oh, you fraud! The cemetery. Just need a Tina V star, even though I just got rid of one. <laughs> you and. Oh god, there's decisions, bro! Decisions! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing! This is a terrible start! I mean, I could shred them. But it's it's a bad start. It's a very bad start. <sighs> oh no. It's alright, we'll roll with it, we'll roll with it, we'll roll with it and just see how it goes. But I'm not liking it already. You can see the, the holes that this, lost, this, uh, this deck has. Might have to try something else out, maybe the next game. Um, right now, I kind of just want to explore these these decks and figure out what I like the most right now um, for what they are before going any further. Now, technically, I could already upgrade, but I want to... Because um, obviously, there's, there's, there's 2,000 credits in there, but I want to, I really want to just get a feel for what I like before upgrading, you know? Because I, I've, I haven't really played Tina V-Star, and I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Something to bear in mind. Um, okay. Oh no, why am I doing that? I've already lost so. See? Ah! Oh, I need to think and I don't like using my brain, bro. Come on. Right, we're just gonna start shredding then, right? Bloody cemetery. I think we just start shredding. I'm just going, okay, pressure, right? Put pressure on them. That's a two-hit KO for us. They can do once what they can just Oko us! Oh! Right, Cram could come in and do some work. That would be fine. If, if they Pulse Guys, they Oko us. But they have to know what's in our hand. Because they're Pulse Guys 60 for each trainer card. They... Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. I've got two. There is also a Guard of our card you get on the, on the ladder. So I don't know if there's a Guard of our deck on this ladder. If there is, that would be sick, bro. If we can work to Guardy, that might be the one to commit to. Right? And then just start grafting the Guardi, you know? Um, and really getting through. So, in this series, I, I, I wouldn't expect 
a diver a huge diversity in decks. Um, because this one's trying to be try-hard. It's trying to get to the top. So we have to play full meta. We have to go with the decks that are doing well. Um, and we're going to have videos where we may play, be playing the same deck for like, you know, a good while. But it's more about the games, less about the decks. I know a lot of you are subscribed to the channel for the decks. This is a flip. This is a, this is a different situation. Which is why I want to do it. Oh, it's, it's something different and I like that. Um, okay. Let's flower select and see if I don't have to use an energy for retreat here. Maybe, uh, okay. That could be good, it could be useful, it could be nice, it could be nice. Just don't like the fact that I have to... Oh, Mirage Gate's online. Cool, cool. Have to manually retreat again. I don't know what, I don't know the energy count, bro. Right, we definitely just go for the KO, right? Five gone! Oh my god. I don't know how much this deck has. Alright, that's two prizes. We take that. Mirage Gate's online, cross switcher, yada yada, but... Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. A lot of Ghast. Give it that. If we can get Sableye coming out, though. Seven. But if we just get one Colres, get Sableye, bro. And he could, he, could, he could do some serious work for us. Right, so this deck that we're playing against is looking like a new deck, right? Someone who's new to the game and is just... We'll get through this, right? There's this stage where it's going to be like this, where you're just going to see a lot of random decks popping up, random stuff. This is just someone who's got psychic cards and went, ooh, psychic deck, yay. Started building. Um, which is great. That's the great entry, right? Don't look down on yourself. You build decks like this, right? Um, where it's all a bit all over the place. There's no real vision and uh, strategy. It's just, oh, I like psychics. Let's do that. Do your thing, man. You're already on the journey to getting to a point of being a, a good deck builder, right? Um, you have to start somewhere. Yeah? So don't beat yourself up if, if you know, you're in this kind of position. Um, just keep going. Keep building, keep building. You'll get there. You'll get there. The more, the more engaged you are with the scene, uh, with the meta, with how tournaments are looking, what, you know, be all, it's all on Twitter. You know, deck lists, all that kind of stuff. You start to understand how things work. And you'll start to come out of this stage and into one where you're playing, you're building decks that are going to win against the top tier. You're, building, you're, you're a rogue deck builder. Which is a great thing, right? Um, so you just have to get there. Okay, cycle draw. We have cross switcher. I can be super cheeky. Maybe I can, because uh, we have a Gorgeist here. Uh, 60 damage for each psychic Pokemon we find. So something to bear in mind. Now, I'm going to obviously evolve to Tina, but I think I'm going to just cross switch here and cram. Maybe I do that to the Poltergeist. And that sets up a Sableye. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Let's bring you up. Just because the, 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 the 10 HP would be fantastic. It means we can actually take out, you know, the Shuppet if they don't evolve it. Um, or oh, to be fair, we can just take out the Lunatone and the, and the Gorgeist in one turn with Sableye. Granted, we need the Retreat. But hey, you never know, there might chaos here, right? This is 60 damage. Um, for each psychic Pokemon you find when I mean, discarding the top six cards of your deck, right? And I'm assuming this deck plays a lot. So they might be able to find two and just KO us. That's kind of what we want. So I'll take it. I'll take it, please. Give me that bad boy. You know what I mean? Well, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet as, sweet as. Curlier. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they play like a great align than a 1 1. One, right? Because obviously the Glade's down. Haven't seen any other ults come into play. I want to see if they've got a thicker line. Good good guide to deck building. Um, try not to play too many different types of Pokemon, usually. Usually you want the strategy which involves one or two Pokemon, and then your support Pokemon. So Pokemon that can help you with draw. Um, anything down that line um, would be useful. There's a Benetti X comp. It's not enough to get the KO, though. <laughs> Might just have to KO the cram then. I could uh, Mirage Gate switch into Sableye or Retreat. Let me check my deck. This is the first time I'm having a look in the deck. I know, it feels rough. We've got a lot. We've got a lot. Bro, my switches, bro. Okay. Are we in Sableye territory yet? No, we're not, bro. I'm, I'm acting like I've got Sableye to play with, bro. <laughs> okay. I think we just start swinging. Maybe I go for... I'm just going to boss up and get rid of the Curly, all right? 
do that. The Gore guy stays low HP. If we find a coal res at some point, that would be so clutch. Because then we can get to that, that magic 10. And Sableye can start going, a res. Yeah? Start raving some numbers down and doing what he does. This is, this is probably the most botched game ever. <laughs> and it's going to be like it, as I said, right? It's going to be like it. But we got to get through this and then we start getting to the juicy stuff. To the hella juicy stuff. So today we might get to a point of hopefully going to the next level. Um, which I don't know what it is actually. What's, what's after Togepi? It's not Pichu, is it? Is Pichu the one after? I know it's a baby Pokemon. Oh no, I don't know actually. That's a lie. They have Guardi? Okay, bye bye Guardi. <laughs> it's gone now. <laughs> Yo, okay. I had no idea they were rocking that bad boy in there. I thought it'd be something a bit different, but they've got Guardi EX. Fair play. Gore Guy's doing some numbers, though. They are down to three prizes. Okay. Ten is what we need, right? Because then we can Sableye and even go for a Star Requiem. So that's what we're looking for. Please just give me a chorus. Come on. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Bear in mind, that's another Psychic gone. That's two Psychic left in deck right now. We do need a coal res, bro. Eight in the lost zone. Eight. Oh no, 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 that's it. That's it. I think I've got it. I've got the I've got the vacuum, right? I can vacuum. Yeah, yeah, we're Gucci. I can vacuum maybe the Snorlax or something away. If it doesn't turn out our way. Uh, okay, beach court. Yeah, there we go. So no coal res, but thankfully, we do have lost vacuum. And I think the Snorlax has to go because, you know, I think we're fine attackers wise. I don't think we need any more. Uh-oh. Yep, I should have retreated first. I know, I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, I'll get a grass on, on the Tina. Yeah, and that, that should be able to see us next turn if they KO the save light, see us through to the game. Oh, that was a bit daft. All right, I know, stupid me. But it's all right, we got to 10, lost mine, and we get to take multiple prizes here. Uh, so we put one here, and then we just take out this Lunatone. Boom, uh, boom. And it doesn't really matter where we go from here. So I'm just going to do that. And there we go. Two prizes. Beautiful. And then from there, we have game pretty much with Tino if need be. If not, sorted. So this one really likes to get to 10. I think it's kind of like, eh. But then you get to 10, it's like, I'll sort you out, mate. I get it. We really want to get to 10 with this particular build. Right, okay. Usually Lost Box can take its time getting to 10. Obviously, I know Lost Box you know, typically wants 10. But it depends on the variant. If you're looking at Turbo Lost Box, they want seven, right? They want they want seven Raikus, Dragonites, Sky Seal Stone. That's what they're looking for. Kyoga can take a bit more of its time because uh, it's the late game, the end game, where it really big, uh, just just blows things up. Um, it really depends. Same with Charizard, I guess. Charizard's kind of just chill. Cram, Cram, Sableye, Charizard, all that jazz. Um, so it really depends on the build. This one, the one we've been handed. But they are yes, gods. Clearly just likes to get to 10 as quickly as possible. From what I can tell. But doesn't have many resources to do it. <laughs> but they're gonna gust. What are they gonna try and stick up here? I started. I've had Lumilion this whole time. Did I start Lumilion? No shot, bro. Boy, I've been waffling, bro. <laughs> Yikes, bro. That is cheeky. It's it's fine. If they had an energy here to uh, item lock me, that would could have been a problem. Oh no, it still is. Oh my gosh. But it's fine. They've played camping gear, ends the turn. Search deck for a card, put it into your hand, and then your turn ends. So thankfully, they didn't item lock me, so I can just go into... I can just literally... I can Requiem, I can... Lost Impact, either way, we've got games. So GG's to my opponent. Keep going, my friend. Keep going. Keep building. Keep having fun. Don't be put off by this, all right? Enjoy it. Have fun. Right, that's the Star Requiem for game. Game one over. And that's 20 points in the bag, baby. 10 points? I thought it was 20. We only get 10 for the win? Yeah, level three. Whoa, I went from two to three? Like that? Okay. Some coins. Okay, nothing too crazy. That's just for aesthetic. We don't need that stuff. It doesn't matter. Why are you still on zero? Are you bugged? Okay, 10 points. Oh, because you got to get to 50. Right, so that was Tina V-Star. Let's see something else. Let's try and work with something else. I'm tempted for Palkia, but I also really like the... the, the I think this one's going to be good. I think this one's going to be a bit turbo. We want quick wins. So we're going to go Lunatone and Soul Rock. Let's run with this. Why are you still saying zero, bro? You're bugged. Okay, please tell me I'm going first. 
Would love to go first here. We are. Okay, there's a Blastoise. Hello, mate. How you doing? And those yikers. Maybe I'll just start working on Mewtwo. Because we do have the V-Star power. Star Raid's very strong. Very strong. We could just lean into the Mewtwo in this one. I, I, that's what I like. I guess with this deck, I guess it's just like, right, okay, you can just Mewtwo, uh, get a couple rocks down, and then just keep using Mewtwo. Um, or you can go for the Lunastone Soul Rock path. So it's kind of like you've got single prizes and you have a dual, a dual prizes ready. Again, I guess uh, Giratina has a similar thing. But the Star Raid is dirty. At this level, I have a feeling this Lunatone Star Rock is going to be the best. I have a strong feeling because Star Raid, you're not going to see many Manaphys, right? And you might see high V counts because the newer players, and I feel bad, I'm going to be taking advantage of, of, of what I know what a newer player would like to do. <laughs> newer players would typically like to just get a bunch of Vs out and stuff because they think they're the most powerful, right? Um, and therefore, they think that's the right. Caitlyn? Wow. Um... So I think I'll be taking advantage of <laughs> Hey, listen. The game's the game. <laughs> Your boy's got to move up somehow, yeah? Got to figure it out. We could have a win now if we get some good luck. And that'd be nice. It'd be nice to get a quick win here. I'll take that for sure. This is interesting as well about, about this series. I have to show every game, even if they're quick or scoops or anything like that, because they contribute to rank points. And I want to make sure all rank points are logged. Unless I do some, I could do some maybe games on, uh, not on, well, I could do it on stream, but like off camera, just to kind of, uh, uh, you know, push the series forward a little bit. I might do that a couple of times. Ideally, I want everything logged, but there may be times where I sit there and go, right, okay, I think I need to just go up a few levels here before the next, the next episode. That can happen. Um, and I might just, you know, do a voiceover log of what happened and all that jazz. That, that's something I can, we can do, but, you know, only if, we, if that situation, if, if it deems to be the case. I still want to do it this way, raw. Anyway, bro's waffling. Let's see what we get for Pokestop. Ah, that's interesting. Greninja for sure. I was thinking that we would be able to cross switch her if they had nothing benched, but I guess I was wrong. Okay. Research, guarantee, right? Okay. Still nothing. I'll take I'll take that. I'll take that. We can conceal cards. Oh, bro. I just needed a switch, man. Come on. What is this? Right, we're going to cycle draw and get rid of probably the poker stop. I don't think they're going to bounce my stadium. So, oh, no, I should have got rid of heavy ball, right? Yeah. Because I already had one in the... Uh, I've already played one. I could see there was nothing there. All right, still fine. Oh, it's their turn. Oh, just a bunch of supporters. <laughs> Caitlin and... Lady Wowzers. Are we... Are you standard? I think you are. I think Lady is standard format. Bro, I'm bugging because I'm looking at the old artworks. I'm like, mine expanded. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, let's see what actually is happening here. What is the strat here? What's, what's my opponent got going on? Maybe it's just a typical water deck. Uh, again, you'll see this a lot in the, in the uh, earlier parts, in the lower levels, right? Uh, Arceus, hello. You'll see um, a lot of people just go, oh, I like water type, so I build a water deck, right? Um, every single person that I've seen who is new to the TCG goes there first. They're like, I like lightning type. I'm a lightning type trainer. They would refer to themselves as. So I'm going to make a lightning type deck. And they just throw a bunch of lightnings together and then, you know, call it a day and have, the, have their fun. And that's great, right? That's a, that is a, a type of willful ignorance that I... Not willful, not willful. Uh... No, no, what's the word I'm looking for? A type of naivety, right? A blissful ignorance that I envy, right? Because I have to sit here and think about the meta and stuff, but these Donnies are out here just going, I'm playing lightning and I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm out here like, rogue decks, what do I do? And then these Donnies are like, I just play what I like. You know, they don't care if it's good. You know, they're just like, yeah, just, just, just have a laugh in it, have some fun. I, I envy them. Because they can just enjoy it, you know? They just have a good time, you know? It's the, it's the curse, knowledge, the curse of knowledge, my friends. Right, so, I don't think I'm going to be too aggressive right now. I think I am going to star raid. Mm, I'd rather not. I'd rather gust up if I can. Let's see if there's any opportunity to do that. Avery, no. A lot of draw, eh? Soul Rock again. 
I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Means I can't just blow up this Blastoise. Um, maybe I do that instead. Because I can just blow up the Arceus next turn as well, right? Oh, I need the Choice Belt though. They evolve. We'll side purge. We'll side purge. Get rid of two, right? That's, yeah, 180. We'll do that. And then they obviously promote this. We can, again, we can do 270. Choice belt will get us there. I don't know if this one plays it. It should. If it doesn't, Ursa, yikers. Ah. Oh, they got the star. No shot. Hmm. Escape rope as well. We can go down a Lunatone. That's okay. They're going to research. What do they do with their V-Star power? That's what I'm curious. Ah, see? This person likes Blastoise, right? Blastoise Radiant. Bro, they have Vitality Spring with Arceus? Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, if I was on top, top level ranked and I saw this, I would be going crazy, but... At this level, it's kind of fun to see. It's like it's like looking through a, a lens of what it's like to to, to begin to, to 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 start enjoying Pokemon TCG. Like this set makes no sense, but as I said, they're just having a good time, and I love that. I might have to ruin their day though. You see, they've already played a supporter, right? So they can't read it now. Yeah, right. I can obviously hit an immediate 270. Can I check my deck, please? No. Okay, but this is a fantastic opportunity to star raid, right? For sure. Puts everything in, in, in line. Everything in line. And we can just soul rock and stuff our way anyway. Or Lunatone, sorry. Our way through. Right. We do that. We retreat. That's okay. As I said, this just looks, this deck just looks too good right now for this type of format. Looks way too strong. Um, I'll just Avery for the draw, I think. Okay, okay. Gotta be careful not to take myself out, though. I've noticed these games are a bit slower. I'll pay attention. Let's go on the rocks ahead of time. This, though, for sure, is gonna be it would be terrible at the higher ranks. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it while I can. All right, Star Raid. 120 to all the Donnies there. There we go. Oh, if only I could do some extra stuff like... Oh no, get a Cresselia in it. We could get Cresselia in here to set things up for KO. That feels bad though, because it's a... Mm. Articuno you could throw in here, maybe. A cheeky Articuno to just snipe the bench. Again, I have a feeling this is going to be too good. The Mewtwo is going to be too good, because there's just no Manaphy. You know? If people are either building their own decks, or playing decks that are given to them, and they're new, I have a feeling they're going to under, uh, underestimate the power of Manaphy. And go, oh... I don't need protection on bench. Don't you dare. Don't you dare Vitality Spring. I... Okay, all right, Fez, Fez. <laughs> I thought they were going to be like, Vitality Spring without even retreating the Arceus. No, no, no. So what? Is it just Arceus with Blastoise stuff? It's looking like it. Oh, unless they've misunderstood. Are they expecting to accelerate to Blastoise? Oh. Oh, imagine that. There's a 180. Now, I can just retreat this Mewtwo, actually. And just go with Lunaturn. Because we soften them all up now. Uh, you are... What's your HP? Can I see? I can't. Because they're doing the accelerating thing. Ah, they can heal this as well. That's something to bear in mind. Right, 160... That's 150, and then one more is 180. So we do manually retreat the Mewtwo. Or maybe I should have dug for other retreat options, but I'm fine. I'm having a good time. I ain't got to worry about this kind of stuff right now. <laughs> okay, and then we can maybe set up the... Uh, that's 150, so I've got to make sure I've got one more in there. Oh, yeah. If they get another Arcus V-Star out next turn, that could be uh, somewhat problematic, actually. Oh, no, no, we got Raihan chilling, bro. Yeah, we're good for a Mewtwo play next turn. We'll take you. Why not? Um, I think I want to hold this energy. Also, not bothered by the Dynatree Hill. So I don't need to bounce that. I don't need to dig for anything right now, do I? I don't think I do. So I think I just go for a Moonkinesis. Just take the KO. 
You never know, this king is still an Arceus deck, so we can't underestimate. He can catch up on us, so we've got to be careful. It can cause some problems, and we want to be wary of that. No, let's not get arrogant now. If they get a KO on this, then we can Raihan to the Mewtwo. And then just get uh, blow something up. But I would like to go for another Lunatone, ideally. Let's see what they decide. I'm curious. This does go to show, though. It does go to show, like, the decks that you get handed aren't terrible. Like, you know? They aren't PDCGO level of bad. Do you remember those theme decks? Was it theme decks you get handed in PDCGO? And you get, like, one two prizer? This is so much better. So, so much better. <laughs> All right. They're taking their time. What, is this BM or you could just, you don't know what to do? I don't know at this level, bro. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to give him a little uh, hello. You, are you there? Yes, my guy's bald. There we go. thought it matched the vibe for some reason. I don't know. This series just gives a bald kind of vibe, you know? Just gives that. Mewtwo's technically bald, so... And you've got massive fo Your forehead, bro! What are you, k size brother? Yikers. I don't think they've got anything to do. Hey, listen. Big man. I pray you're not just... You've not just left your computer. <laughs> I'll just... I'll just... Dropped out of the app, you know, these people could be on the, on the app as well on PDCG Live on their phone and just be like, yeah, all right, bye-bye, onto YouTube. <laughs> onto Twitter so I can complain. <laughs> I hope not, because then I've got to sit here and wait through it, man. Sorry, I just hit the old, hit the tip, you know? You ever do that sometimes? You just hit the tip? Yeah. Yeah, they've definitely just left it. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is just uh, do this and just look for a boss. I'm just going to look for a boss. All right. There's a cross switcher for game, so... I'm just going to accelerate to this one. Okay. And then if they try and just BM me and pass me, that's fine. I'll just gust up with the cross switcher for game. So this one doesn't play boss? Yo. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Also, I really like Mewtwo, so I'm very happy to be playing this because Mewtwo is my favorite Pokemon, for those who don't know. And... I love Mewtwo V-Star. Hey, maybe I put this into Guardi for a Rogue Deck video. That'd be fun. Star Raid. Ba-boom. Easy KOs without needing to go for crazy, like go to low HP. Sounds fun. Set up Mewtwo V, just a Mewtwo Guardi deck. Mewtwo V-Union. Mewtwo V-Star. You used to use Star Raid to set up the V-Union KOs. Sounds fun. Sounds uh, very long though. Very hard. But fun. We'll have to give that a go. Definitely have to give that a go. Also, if you just get like a choice belt and just Mewtwo constantly, you can just get very easy Mewtwo KOs in, in a Guardi deck. So I, I quite like that, actually. Um, yeah, so it is, what we, it is what we expected. Our opponent has just kind of left. Which is a shame. You don't like to see it on ranks. This thing's usually not meant to happen so much. But... There's, okay, so that, that's they timed out. They're inactive for too long, gave us a dub. Well, this starts interesting, okay? I saw in a mulligan, Gallade. Yeah, Gallade. They've got a Gallade in here. Um, so this is going to be quite cool. It's be interesting to see how this one pans out. This hand, though, is definitely saying something. <laughs> it's saying, oh, you changed that. I hear ya, I hear ya. That said, man, it's so frustrating this deck doesn't have choice belt. Don't get me started. Right, okay. Let's fog crystal and get ourselves... All right, so let's check our deck quickly. We do have one more Mewtwo in there. So that's fine. I think I'm comfortable with just researching this hand away. Getting a... Do I just lean... I think I... I'll get, I'll get, I'll get Greninja down. I'll get Greninja down. But I'm not... I can cycle draw here, actually. So I'm not... I'm not... I'm not going to... I was going to say I'm not going to do something. And I forgot what I was going to say about not doing something. And then I ended up... I don't know if I did it or not. But either way, we're here. <laughs> we're having a good time, okay? All right, let's do that. Conceal cards. And then I will... Yeah, we're just going full Lunatone Soul Rock, right? We're not even going for the Mewtwo right now. Could get a little swing in here. Oh my god, I got four in the discard pile? Okay. I was going to cycle draw, but okay, we got a swinger. How did I get four? Oh, I researched. Sweet. <laughs> Big dubbers. This might be a quick win. 
Lovely. Let's go do that, Sun Energy. That is a great turn one going second, bro. Maybe we do try to go second in this deck. Yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot more than Lost Box right now. It's just a lot more simpler, which I think is good. Right, we don't need to go too crazy complicated. We're not there yet, you know? We're not there. We're just grinding through, through the early stages, right? So we want to get five wins. I'm hoping this is a quick one because these episodes are going to be long. Um, but I'm, I, I don't mind that. If you don't mind it, I don't mind it. Um, but I'm hoping to get five wins here today to just get to the next rank. I don't think we'll be able to do that all the time because um, we're not going to get five wins on the trot every single episode, you know? But it'd be nice to start off by just getting to the next level, right? To getting to Clefa. If we don't, though, it's fine. It's okay. Okay, two EXP shares. Anything to bench? Hmm? I'd have to see what they're working on. What what their what the gist is of their deck. Beach. And a pop. That's an easy dub. We take him. <laughs> we take him, baby. We're not even gonna waste any time. Lunatone coming in there. That is another ten points bagged in. I'll take it, bro. Lovely. Level four achieved. Anything we get useful? 400 credits. We take it. We take it. Okay, we are going first. I like that. Um, again, I kind of feel like... All right, we've also prized, I think... We've prized a Lunatone. So I can do this, and then Heavy Ball for a Lunatone, right? Yeah, baby, I'm learning the deck. That's not... I should have got a Greninja, maybe. Maybe that was a better shout. Oh, well. Here's what it is. Trekking Shoes. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so I need to decide how I want to treat this deck. Is it a Lunatone Soul Rock with Mewtwo? Or a Mewtwo with Lunatone and Soul Rock? <laughs> I don't know, but we're playing Arcanine. Now that's interesting. Arcanine is 280, right? And we don't really... And Mewtwo, uh, it's, it's Star Raid is only to Vs? So maybe Mewtwo's a bad call for this matchup. I kind of, I kind of back that. I think the single prize matchup works in our favor here. The, the, the cycle draws... No, we're going first, so... I think I can do this, actually. Okay. We'll sun energy now, ahead of time. Really no fault in that. we just pass. And then we can just research next turn, right? Oh, two rescue carriers, though? Ooh. Maybe I should, maybe I should have attached and then... I don't know. I don't know. But Solrock's looking good, right? Because it technically has donk potential. Going second against these decks where you, you see a lot more, you know, one Pokemon in the active, no Pokemon to bench type starts. Lunatone Sora can really rocket us up the rank. So it seems like the strat. It really does seem like the strat. It's just quite turbo. And I think that's good for... Oh! No way, bro. They just got rid of two Armor Rouge. That is... Danger. Oh my god, I feel bad for them. Yo! Out of the three on the pokes of two, I think that's all they have. No shot, bro. Okay. We're going to go for the win here. We want quick wins, so we're going to dig for it. Okay, I think first off I thin out like this, right? I need to attach retreat. That needs to happen, so I can't game. <laughs> no, we won't land in this card pile and that's going to be another quick game. We are rocketing, okay? Absolutely rocketing up the light. You see that first game of the Lost Box, bro? How techy it got? No, no, no. This goes to show if you're starting off Lunatone and Solrock the whole way, just get yourself out of the rut. Get yourself into the higher level. Lunatone seems like the path to that to that destination. Another quick dub. That's four today. Let's go for the magic five and get into Cleffa for this episode, okay? We're going to go for it. Hopefully, it's not a long burner. Hopefully, we get another quick one. Let's take a quick look at the battle pass. Uh, unfortunately, we need to attach a tool card. We don't have tool cards in our deck. What we can do is edit the deck with the cards that we have. So maybe I actually have a choice belt in here just, by, just from it being provided in a different deck in our collection. I don't see it. But I want to go with the spirit of just playing the decks that we have right now. I don't, I don't want to... I want this first episode to be just... We're not going to make any changes. We'll get to that in the next one. I could reset it, actually. Actually. Yeah, let's replace it. Play one item. Yes, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. So maybe get two Mewtwo's out and then play an item card in this game. Let's see.
Oh my god. I wasn't even paying attention, bro. I was just chilling out on my phone waiting for the game to start and it's just an insta win oh it feels so undeserved what the hell do you we do rank <laughs> what the hell pdcgl baby pdcgl we didn't even get to start battle pass stuff for crying out loud man with that said that's gonna be it i guess i know that was a bit of a downer i'm sorry but i mean i have been recording for 50 minutes i don't want this episode being too long so first episode in we've already gotten two clever rank that's nice um and then we start going up i'm assuming from pokeball uh, from pokeball league you start getting 20 for each win uh, instead of 10. Uh, so we do have a few leagues, uh, a few a few ranks to go through. We need to get to Ryulu, then, P uh, then Pichu, and then Pikachu. Uh, bless you. Um, and then we just keep on moving. So in the next episode, we're going to be looking at ways to improve this deck with... I, I think we're going to go with the, Sol the Lunto Solrox right now, and we're going to see what changes we can make um, and then go from there. I don't want to leave it too much out of the way. I want it to just be some minor upgrades uh, for the time being with the money that we do have we can definitely uh, use the credits to purchase some things uh, for the time being and uh, really try and refine this deck in the process and you can follow, you, follow along yourself um, if you want to in this series and on top of that I hope this provides some insight um, to those who are you know a free to play player just starting out and don't really know where to go what to do what to invest in when it comes to what cards to get what decks to, to go for. So I hope this series provides a bit of help or a bit of a guide, I guess, um, to, you know, getting into it and uh, enjoying it, having a good time uh, and really upgrading in the best ways possible. Um, but ultimately, if you are new, just have a good time. That's basically it. Uh, that all said, though, I'm really buzzed. For, I'm really buzzing. Sorry, buzz? What am I buzz like yet? Now, I'm really buzzing for this series. It's going to be good fun. Uh, I'm not going to have a set schedule for it when I release it. You know, I know people go, like, every Tuesday we release this. No, 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 no. You know I'm not going to stick to it, okay? Between me and you, it ain't going to happen, Chief. So I'll just release it whenever I want it. <laughs> I'll just keep on top of it as much as I can. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm absolutely excited. Let me know your thoughts on this series if you think it's a good idea or not. And please, if you do like it, please give a like. It's going to be the most helpful thing um, out of anything else, uh, it, it will mean a lot. But most importantly, though, do take care of yourself. Uh, check out, of course, the, the merch and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you, you, you know how it goes. You know, you got to got to make me pee. You know, got to got to get me back. Anyway, blood's waffling. I'll see you later. Take care of yourself and peace.